Friday morning, state Senate Democrats announced new critical funding increases in initiatives to support those battling addiction. The opioid crisis affects millions of people from all walks of life. When it came to funding uh, and when it came to making sure that the that our statewide colleagues understand what this means on Long Island. We were unified, we were persistent. Some of the measures include removing cost barriers for those undergoing outpatient substance abuse disorder treatment and insurance coverage for certain drugs used during treatment. Another important reform included in this year's budget requires emergency rooms to have policies and procedures in place to provide medically assisted treatment to overdose patients prior to their release. One million dollars will go towards recovery high schools. A recovery high school is going to save lives. To support young people in recovery who are making a decision to choose life and an education. $350,000 will go towards a new recovery center in Westbury. Know that last year we finally began to turn a corner. We watched the overdose fatalities begin to drop. Dr. Jeffrey and, uh, Reynolds says Thrive, a recovery open. community and outreach center, will open another location this May. But from that, we saw folks come through the door having left treatment, um, and they walked in and said, I finally feel like I belong. Jennifer Brock says she's in long-term recovery and now a certified recovery PR advocate at Thrive, hoping to give back to others. She says peer-to-peer -peer support changed her life. What we do here as advocates is ask you, what can we do to help you get to where you want to go? You tell us, and we start to build that bridge. From Hop Hog, Chelsea Irizarry, Fios, One News.